Okay, so clearly there's an elephant in the room. Um, I have not posted in almost a year, if not a year. And I'm just here to talk about how going viral is not all that people make it seem. If we're being honest, can I actually say that I regret going viral? And I'll tell you why. I built a community here based on a niche that I didn't want to be in. If you are new to my channel, then you may or may not have seen my viral videos about side hustles. Side hustles are where I blew up. It is where a lot of people found me and a lot of people wanted more of the same content. Now here's the thing, that's not the kind of content that I wanted to continue to give. That was supposed to be a hot topic that we would move on from. But then the side hustle culture just kind of swooped in and never left. I posted a video that did amazing during the pandemic because it was about side hustles. People were misplaced from work. There was just, you know, money that needed to be made. And I wanted to give you guys some advice on different things that I've tried that have worked for me. Where I went wrong was thinking that I could leave it at that. Once you put yourself out there in a specific category, people expect you to be the expert on it. And let me just tell y'all something. I am not the side hustle expert. I know how to stir up some money when I need it, but I am not a side hustle girl. I don't think that we should live in this culture where we side hustle ourselves to death. Side hustles are not gonna bring us wealth, and that's the journey that I'm on, is for wealth. It is not for quick, fixes and quick money. In turn, I ended up growing a lot of subscribers and people started becoming very reliant on me teaching them easy ways to make money. And I had to keep coming up with easy ways to make money. Now here's the thing. One thing about me is I will not, I refuse to get on the internet and be a liar. And some of these people that are trying to give you these side hustles, these passive income ideas, these work from home jobs, it's overdone. When is enough enough? I am not that person. I don't get on here and recommend all this stuff if I've never tried it. That's not me. A lot of people will do that because they know that that culture is in demand. They know that people are looking for those ways to make money and they will always be there looking for ways to make money. However, that was not my industry. That was not my gift. That was not my calling. There are people that just continue to feed the internet fluff about side hustles and that's not me. So let's talk about how we're gonna revamp. We're changing this all up. I'm going to be delivering unapologetic, authentic content that is going to help you on your journey. But this is a journey of actual growth. Those side hustles keep you stagnant. They keep you comfortable in a place that is not success, nor is it beneficial to your success. They are called side hustles, meaning they are on the side. If I'm on a path to success, what I look like going to venture off to the side. Okay, I want us to be doing things that are going to be building blocks to the goal that you actually have that is going to be beneficial for you in the future. Welcome to our revamp. Let's call it Raven J. I need a pink marker for this one. Reloaded. <laughs> Essentially, I just want to set the expectation. What I am not is a side hustle girl. Okay, get that out of your head. What I am is an entrepreneur, if I even spelled that word correctly. I specialize in social media marketing and giving you all of the tips, all of the free game without the fluff so that you can level up your social medias to actually take your business to the next level. I also have a trademarked, yes, indeed, it's trademarked, a trademark apparel collection, Black Women Can. And I do consultations for people who are starting a product-based business and want to blow it up, hence, Social media tips. I teach you how to pull that up on social media, okay? That's what I do. That's what I'm good at. That's my bread and butter, not side hustles. Now that we're clear on that. So if I could go viral a second time and actually be intentional about it, here's what I do. Take the time to plan videos that clearly define your genre, not a niche. And when I say plan, I mean actually plan them out. The easiest way to fall off on YouTube is to not be prepared and to be inconsistent. So if planning for me looks like coming up with my topic for the video, at that same time coming up with my title, and then coming up with my dialogue. So you need to plan out from A to Z 
how that video is gonna flow and what you're gonna say so that you don't miss a beat. The second thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is do some research. Find out what in your genre has success. Who's gone viral? Who's actually executed what it is you're trying to do? Who talks about the topics you talk about? How do they talk about them? What's their flow? And then figure out how do you duplicate their success. I'm careful not to say imitate because you don't want to show up and be the exact same as another creator where it's painfully obvious, but you want to in your own way join that genre so that you fit in and that you also have your own success. There are platforms out there like TubeBuddy or vidIQ that you can use in your YouTube to see what tags and titles and, and analytics are behind those successful videos so that you can try and duplicate the same thing. It's not rocket science. There is a formula, there is a blueprint. All you need to do is follow it. The third thing that I would say to do is find your style and stick with it. Something that I struggled with in the beginning of my channel was flip-flopping between how I wanted my videos to look, my editing style, my thumbnail style, how I would do my, my descriptions. There's a style that people have as YouTubers that you need to nail down and stick with it. Stop changing everything up so often because you can't figure out what's working for you. And lastly, when you are choosing your topic for your videos, make sure that it's stuff that people actually care about. I'm not saying that you have to be in an industry or a genre that you don't want to be in, but whatever you are claiming your presence in that industry, make sure that you present it in a way that actually captures people's attention and makes them want to stay a while. You may have heard this before, but if you've never heard it before, you heard it here today. Make content that is evergreen, content that will always be relevant. Doesn't matter what your topic or your basis of the content is, just make sure that it is relevant to people now and it will be relevant to people five years from now. You don't wanna hop on viral trends because they're going nuts at the moment and you'll have a little 15 minutes of fame and then it never works again. Or you now have gone viral and you regret it. <laughs> sounds like somebody we know 2023 I'm sure you guys have a lot of goals a lot of business goals a lot of social media growth roles a lot of social media goals and you plan to do it big this year I have so much faith in you however you got to be consistent and we're gonna go on this journey together make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so you can catch all of the videos that are gonna come and you can still watch all the videos that are on my channel and I know you're probably wondering what's the video that I did that went viral. If you're interested in those side hustles, make sure you watch that video next because that is going to give you some helpful, realistic tips that you can try to try to make you some extra money. But again, we are not going to fall victim to side hustle culture. I'm going to link the video because go ahead and watch it. It helps me and it may help you. But I need you guys to subscribe so that you can catch the upcoming content in the future that's really going to help you go to the next level. All right. See you guys next time. Bye.